Generic functions are very useful in Rust. Let's see some of the benefits of using generic function. So this makes our code more flexible and provides more functionality to the call callers of the functions. And it also prevents code duplication because we don't have to define the same function for different types. And uh, in order to define uh, the generics for function, we place the generics in the signature of the function where we would usually specify the data type of parameters and return type. So when we define a normal function, we write fn, then function name, and then some parameters, and its type, let's say i32, and then we specify the return type, let's say i32, and then we define the function. And let's say uh, we need the same function for float also, then we need to define it again. So generics, generic function will help us in defining it just once and use it with multiple types. So the signature is like this. So this is same as earlier, fn, foo, and here you specify the type. So this is the generic type t. And then these are the parameters, a and b. And uh, these are of, of this type T and its return type is also T. So uh, we can read this definition as function foo is generic over some type, some type T. And this function has two parameters A and B. Foo function will return a value of the same type T. So let's see some example in the code. So let's first uh, define a non-generic function and we want to calculate the maximum of two numbers. So we will write max, and let's say this is for i32. And it returns i32. And we will write if b is greater than a, then return b otherwise return a now let's call this function max of 10 and 20 equal to max i32 10 20 so it prints uh, 20 now let's say I want this functionality for float also so we can define another function this time for f64 And let's run this for float and again here you see that it's returning 20.5. Now let's see how we can replace this with a generic function for finding max. So we will write it as max generic. And then we can specify a type. So I will make some correction here. You will see that this will not work that straightforward. And then we had the parameters. A is of type T and B is of type T. 
and it returns the same type T just like these two cases and let's copy this code here and then try to call this this time 50 and 100 max generic 150 so you see that uh, it complains that binary uh, greater than cannot be applied to type T so the solution here is to specify the order trait because not all types can be ordered so you cannot uh, compare all of the types so when we declare this order trait here then you see that it works correctly and it finds that the maximum is 100 and uh, let's see that it will work for float as well let's say we have 100.5 and 50.6 and let's run it so it says that uh, odd trait is not defined for float so uh, what happens is that this uh, ORD this trait this is declaring this function to be generic over any type that implements the ORD or order trait so int implements that so that's why it's working for int but float does not do that so it's not working for that and this ordering trait uh, allows us to compare two values so for float we have partial ORD so this would work for int as well as float so now let's see whether it works for both the cases or not so you see that it's able to compare this int as well as float so uh, now we can get rid of these so here uh, both of these are uh, implemented using this same generic function so you can clearly see the benefit it can help in code duplication and uh, it makes it look more organized and concise